I'm sorry if it seems like I'm flexing my collection, but uh, kind of done with the switch, or I'm, I'm going to be done with the switch, kind of. Let me explain. Uh, so, I've been collecting for the Nintendo Switch since its release. I have gotten every single Nintendo Switch game up about until a few months ago where I made my Switch burnout video and I had decided that I was going to stop collecting for the Nintendo Switch completely and just get games that I was interested in playing and that I was like really excited for them to come out. Games like Luigi's Haunted Mansion that I have just been so in love with. And recently I've been watching more like minimalistic kind of videos and I've really started to enjoy the idea of living a more minimalistic life, especially because here in New York City, space is very precious. For the Switch, I kind of feel like I just jumped into it like everyone else when the Switch came out. You were either super overexcited about it or you were skeptical or you couldn't care less. Me, I was super overexcited about it and I kind of jumped in and just grabbed things as soon as they were coming out. And mostly because I was just excited for another Nintendo console to have such a big impact in my life and to create some amazing and fond memories with and I didn't think it would get this insane but it did um, I, I should have figured it because this was like Nintendo's next big thing so I should have figured that but I kind of just jumped in there like a lot of other people and like I said in my switch burnout video I've kind of lost my love for it. Um, when I made my Switch Burnout video, I kind of started cutting back on my collection. I stopped getting the special editions and alternate covers. And in that video, I do express how I was going to be cutting back more on my collection and slimming it down. I haven't had time to do it. I've been busy with other stuff. And I sat down and I looked at my collection today and I was like, today's the day to do it. So I'm going to be getting rid of about 400 games from behind me. I'm getting rid of games that I'm not interested in and I'm only going to be keeping games that I have played, that I've enjoyed playing, and games that I would like to play when I have the time. And I'm also going to be getting rid of just about all of my Nintendo Switch bundles. I'm only going to be keeping one or two the ones I enjoy the most and my original Nintendo that I got the day of release. Besides that, I'm going to be getting rid of just about everything else. I know there are going to be people in the comments saying I wasted all my money um, and a bunch of other stuff, but I don't see how me learning from my mistake and trying to stop the bleeding is a bad thing. It's no different than people who subscribe to Brazers smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, collect motorcycles. At some point you realize, hey, maybe you should use this money for something else. Maybe you should stop this. It isn't the best for you. I'm realizing that now and I'm stopping the bleeding before it gets any worse. I want things that are going to mean more to me. And right now I feel like all of these switches even though I really did enjoy getting them in and I was excited about them and opening them up and looking at the different kinds of switches, now they kind of just sit on my shelf and I don't really use them. I know I have a bunch of other stuff that kind of sits on my shelf, but I mostly use it all. Like a lot of the boxes on the top of my shelves are somewhat empty because they are set up behind me, set up to my TV so that I can just press a button and play them whenever I feel like it and I take the power glove off the shelf and play it whenever I want to attempt to use that. And I love looking at Rob the Robot. He sits on my shelf, but he was such an amazing find for me. I literally almost cried when I found Rob the Robot. So he's staying on the shelf. And at some point I'll hook him up and attempt to use him 
but I'm missing some pieces to him, so I gotta find those first. But in getting rid of all of my Switch collection, I'm not gonna stop collecting entirely. I'm just going to be getting Switch games that I want or I'm excited about and found my love again for the SNES. With rediscovering my love for the SNES, I am gonna start collecting more for this. It's definitely gonna be more of a curated collection. I'm only gonna be grabbing things that I've played before and I really enjoy or things I find in other people's videos that look like really cool suggestions on things I might want to play and try out. I'm definitely not going for a full SNES collection because I do not have the space or the time for it. And also, the SNES is way, way, way cheaper to collect for than the Nintendo Switch. It has so many more amazing games than the Nintendo Switch and it is way cheaper than the Nintendo Switch. The entire video is not gonna be coming down on the Nintendo Switch. I appreciate everything that the Nintendo Switch has done for me. Before I started collecting for the Nintendo Switch, I was just collecting for uh, older consoles and the only like new games that I was really playing was on my PlayStation 4. So the Nintendo Switch kind of brought back the love and the desire for new games and wanting to grab new games that are coming out and games that I may be interested in. And it expanded my love from just my PlayStation back to Nintendo. And I've met a lot of great people in the community and through the Nintendo Switch and through the love of Nintendo Switch, even though I haven't had the best experience with the community and it kind of opened up my eyes to how truly hateful the gaming scene can be for females, it has also opened up my eyes to some really remarkable and amazing people that lie in the gaming community. So I really appreciate all of them taught me that it's brought to light for me and this is just my goodbye and appreciation to the Nintendo Switch. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you had a similar feeling to the Nintendo Switch. If you guys understand where I'm coming from or you think that I'm overreacting and what your thoughts and love for the Nintendo Switch is. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more and make sure your push notifications are on. Until next time, peace out FOMO fam.